Today we will be looking at 10 interesting facts about Irish Setters you need to know. Irish or Red Setters have been some of the best family dogs around for many years and are becoming increasingly popular. You may well have heard the saying that blondes have more fun, but Irish Setters are here to shatter those stereotypes. These rambunctious, intelligent, and loyal dogs are dashing redheads with a well-earned reputation for being wonderful family dogs. They are famously well-tempered and make great loyal companions for adults as well as being brilliant hunting dogs and are even gentle and energetic enough to become fantastic playmates for children too. Now on to the facts about these dogs that will surely leave you amazed. Fact number one, they are purposeful pups. The Irish Setter is a type of dog breed to uncover game birds by using their keen sense of smell. These dogs show a hunter that they have found birds by setting down on their belly. Before the invention of firearms, setters worked in tandem with trained falcons and hunters using nets. Today, setters are gun dogs, by which we mean they work with a hunter toting a rifle. Irish huntsmen of the 1800s bred the sleek and rangy red setter to move freely and swiftly. This made them all the better at covering more ground in the expansive flat countryside of the Emerald Isle. Since then, the Irish setter earned a reputation as an energetic but efficient worker in the bird fields, and thanks to its eye-catching good looks and graceful gait, has been a big winner in the show ring since the sport's beginnings in the 1870s. In fact, 11 Irish setters have won the sporting group competition at the Westminster Kennel Club show over the years, showing just how well-bred they are. Fact number two, they weren't always red. Irish setters are probably best known for their solid red coats with their name in Gaelic being Madra Rua, translating to red dog, but originally that was only sometimes the case. Because these dogs were initially bred for hunting, their owners often preferred Irish setters to be red and white because it was a color pattern that made the dogs easier to see against the green and brown of the field. Yet, as the Irish setters appeared more and more often in shows rather than on purely for the hunt, solid red dogs became more fashionable. While they are now most commonly seen with glossy red coats, the former breed that features the multicolored coat still exists and is now known as a red and white setter. Fact number three, their mascots in Ireland and in the US. In the United States, there's a Greyhound bus line which bears a logo featuring the Greyhound. However, in Ireland, there is Bus Erin, which adores the Irish setter as its brand mascot. The company says that it chose the Irish setter because they are friendly, reliable, and fast, just like the way in which the company aims to serve its customers. There's certainly no better way to describe the Irish setter but you'll need to take a vacation to Ireland to see if their buses hold up to that standard. Moreover, several college athletic teams also go by the nickname Setters. Granted, that name consists of a number of Setter varieties, including Irish Setters, English Setters, Gordon Setters, and Red and White Setters. Yet, the Pace University has a pure red mascot Irish Setter called T-Bone that does represent this breed. Fact number four, they are slow to grow up. Several dog breeds tend to experience what seems like an extended puppyhood, and the Irish Setter is definitely one of them. Although puppies all finish growing at different rates, an Irish Setter's physical development typically outpaces their behavioral growth. Over time, Irish Setters mature into extraordinarily intelligent dogs that are always eager to please their owners. Yet, similar to Labrador Retrievers, they also retain their puppy-like demeanor and energy for a bit longer as they age. They may also maintain stubbornness for a while, and so can require plenty of patience when it comes to training. Regardless, it does make this breed a joy to be around and is one of the reasons they tend to get along so well with kids. If you are interested in dog facts and want to learn more about other breeds, check out some of our playlists. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. Fact number five, there are show and field varieties. Although the Irish Setter is an individual dog breed, there is a distinction between those bred specifically for show and those bred to work out in the field. The Irish setters that compete in dog shows tend to be bigger and heavier with denser burnished coats, while those working as hunting dogs are usually smaller and leaner for agility on the hunt. The modern hunting red setter is also smaller than its bench bred cousin, while show dogs often reach 70 pounds. Meanwhile, the working red setter is generally around 45 pounds. The coat is also less silky and the feathering is usually shorter. What's more, their coloring is lighter, with the working dog found in more natural looking russet and fawn colors. The red setter often has patches of white on his face and chest as the Irish setter of old did. There have also been efforts to rekindle the true type Irish field abilities by a handful of dedicated breeders in California and elsewhere with some success. More than a dozen American Kennel Club dual championship Irish setters have been made, evidence of the dog's native ability when proper traits are selectively sought in breeding. Fact number six, they have been White House residents. Several US presidents have owned Irish setters in the past, 
This means the breed has been at the White House more than any other. At least three U.S. presidents owned Irish Setters, including Harry Truman and Ronald Reagan. One of the most famous dogs that served in the White House was Richard Nixon's beloved King Timaho, or Tim for short. President Nixon named his dog after a small town in Ireland that was the homeland of the president's ancestors. Fact number seven, they were born to be TV and film stars. There's quite a significant number of shows and films featuring red setters. They've appeared all over the place, including in the series Sherlock, as well as Mad Men, and in the film All Dogs Go to Heaven Too. There are even setters to be seen in the John Dies at the end series, and even Mary Poppins Returns. Moreover, their popularity has gotten them into books, and they can be found in Stephen King's novel The Stand. Most famously, a red setter was the titular character in the Disney movie Big Red. This film, made in the 60s, was based on a 1945 novel by American author Jim Kajelagard. Disney turned it into a commercially successful film about a wild-hearted Irish setter who rebels against the show dog lifestyle his owner wants for him. Big Red befriends a young boy who understands the dog's independent spirit. The Irish setter's good looks and trainability make them very adept for work on movie sets. So don't be surprised if you spot one while scrolling through streaming services. Fact number eight, they are clever but tricksy. Irish setters are well known for their intelligence, but they're also quite mischievous and can be fiercely independent. Unsurprisingly, they're brilliant playmates for active older children, but they can be a bit overwhelming for toddlers who may find themselves suddenly bowled over by this rascally and overeager redhead. Training Irish setters requires much patience and consistency. As we mentioned earlier, this breed is quite slow to mature, so you'll probably have a full-grown dog with puppy-like enthusiasm and activity levels for several years. That means you need to be aware that they might be playing the dog equivalent of a prank on you at any time just for the fun of it. What's your favorite fact about Irish setters? Let us know in the comments and share your thoughts with other enthusiasts. Fact number nine, they are outstanding hunting dogs. Developed in Ireland in the 1700s, Irish setters were initially bred as ace hunting dogs in their namesake country, and today they continue to be popular sporting dogs. They are strikingly handsome with feathered silky red chestnut coats and an athletic build with a deep chest and long legs. The breed is a fast and focused hunter in the field, where they move with grace and a sense of purpose. Irish setters are smart dogs who love having work to do at the side of their owners. This breed is well known for its stamina and can easily spend the entire day in the field. Our setters are also intelligent and eager students who will learn the beginner and advanced training quickly, especially when the lessons are changed up frequently and are fun, because they can get bored quickly. This breed is a little sensitive and responds best to patience and positive reinforcement, but they tend to work well with other dogs. Our setters are best suited for indicating where game birds are anywhere from mountains to bogs to farmland and forest. Fact number 10. They enjoy the company of celebrities. We already mentioned that they've been the companions of presidents. But it doesn't end there. Our setters seem to often find themselves in the company of well-known characters around the world. A dog named Milford was the Tsar of Russia, Alexander II's favorite dog. Additionally, Shannon was a setter belonging to the Beach Boys' Carl Wilson, whose death became the subject of the 1976 song by his friend, Henry Gross. Moreover, Peggy Brown was a female Irish setter and the pet of Finnish Air Force Fighter Squadron 24 in World War II. It is also fascinating to note that the first dog, Cesar Milan, ever owned was an Irish setter. Although he does not consider himself a professional dog trainer, Cesar Milan of the TV show Dog Whisperer is best known for his work with people and dogs to resolve behavioral issues. His first pet was an Irish setter. Milan's neighbor, a doctor who owned an Irish setter, gave him a puppy when his dog had a litter. Milan dubbed his new pet Saluki, and they spent many years together. His experience with her helped to educate him on managing dog behavior. So you could say we have this breed to thank for the show. All in all, our setters are clearly an interesting and well-liked breed across the board, and we think it's very easy to see why.